Writing an equation from a description, lesson 5.1c. We can use information from a description of a linear relationship to find the slope and y-intercept and to write an equation. First thing we do is identify the input and output variables. That would be the x and the y. We write the data from the problem as ordered pairs. We find the slope, which is the rate of change. We find the y-intercept by using the slope and one of the ordered pairs. Then we use the slope and the y-intercept to write the equation. Now remember, when the slope is a positive number, that m in the equation, the graphed line will rise to the right. And when the slope is a negative number, the graphed line will fall to the right. The cost for yardage of cotton fabric is a linear relationship related to the number of yards purchased. Write an equation in slope-intercept form for the cost of cotton fabric. So we can see for length in yards, the price would be $28 for 4 yards, and for 6 yards, it would be $42. We identify the input and output, that's the x and y variables. The input variable is the length in yards. I made it easy for you because it's in green. The output variable is the price. We write the data as ordered pairs. We have 428 for the first pair and 642 for the second pair. We find the slope using the slope formula. We have the second y value minus the first y value. That's going to give us a 14. And the second x value minus the first x value. That's going to give us a 2. And 14 halves reduces to 7. So here we have our ordered pairs and we know our slope m is a 7. We find the y-intercept by using the slope and one of the ordered pairs. So we're going to use 7 for our slope and we'll use this first ordered pair 428. We have our slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b. We're going to put 28 for y and 4 for x. We know our slope is 7 and it's going to be plus b. We don't know what b is. That's what we're looking for, that y-intercept. We multiply, we get a 28. And now we subtract 28 from both sides of the equation. That will create a zero pair here and we'll eliminate this. And it'll create a zero pair here and we'll eliminate this. And we're going to be left with zero is equal to that b. Now we use the slope and y-intercept to write the equation. We have y is equal to 7x plus 0, or we don't need the 0. We can just say y is equal to 7x. We know this graphed line will rise to the right. The slope is a positive number. Since that's a positive 7, we know if we graph the line, the slope would rise to the right. The line would go up that direction. The cost for 120 square yards of installed carpet is $1,950. The cost for 150 square yards of installed carpet is $2,400. Write an equation in slope-intercept form for the cost of the installed carpet. First thing we do is identify the input and output values. I made it easy. They're color-coded. We know the input is the number of square yards, and we know the output is the price. We have two ordered pairs. We have 120 and 1,950, and we have 150 and 2,400. We find the slope using the slope formula. We have the second y minus the first y. That's going to give us 450. We have the second x minus the first x. That's going to give us 30. And when we simplify 450 thirtieths, it comes out to be 15. We know the carpeting costs $15 per yard. We have our ordered pairs. We have our slope. And we find the y-intercept by using the slope and one of the ordered pairs. We have our slope-intercept form. And we're going to use 1,950 for y and 120 for x. We put them into the formula. We substitute them in, and we put 15 for m, our slope, and we have plus b. We're looking for this b, the y-intercept. We multiply 15 times 120, and we get 1,800. Now we subtract 1,800 from both sides. That's going to create a zero pair here and eliminate it. 
And here, we're going to get 150, and that's equal to b. We use the slope and y-intercept to write the equation. We have y is equal to 15x plus $150. So there must be some conditional fee, some $150 fee, that has to be paid along with the price per yard. The independent variable is the size of the square yards. The dependent variable is the total cost. Here's our last example. Dave's earned commissions depends on the number of sales he made. He received $475 in commissions the week he made nine sales and $325 the week he made six sales. Write an equation for his earnings in slope intercept form. First thing we do is identify the input and output variables. The input is going to be the number of sales because this number depends on what this number is. The output is the dollar amount of the commissions. We write the input and output as ordered pairs. We have a 6 and a 325 and a 9 and a 475. We find the slope using the slope formula. We subtract 475 minus 325 over 9 minus 6, and we get 150 thirds. And when we simplify this, we get 50. Since the slope is 50, that tells us he gets $50 for each sale. So again, we have our ordered pairs, we have our slope, and we find the y-intercept by using the slope and one of the ordered pairs. We've got y is equal to 325, we've got x is going to be 6, and we know our slope is 50. We have our plus b at the end, that's what we're trying to find. We multiply 50 times 6 and get 300. Now, we subtract 300 from each side of the equation. We get a zero pair here, plus 300 minus 300 makes a zero. And here, 325 minus 300 is 25. That means 25 is equal to b. That's all that's left in the equation. We use the slope and y-intercept to write the equation. We have y is equal to 50x plus 25. Now this equation will show us Dave's earnings if we substitute any number of sales for x. We're finished with 5.1, we're moving on to 5.2, and we're going to be learning graphing from a table to write an equation. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and please join me for the next lesson. Bye!